Hi friends, I um, have not done an update, update video for a couple of months on the parasite. Um, I've been helping my father who's had some surgeries and some health problems and um, so I would only come home for a few days and take care of my house and head back to visit with him. So um, I have not tried anything really new. Um, I'll show you what I've been doing just to keep them down while I've been running back and forth. Um, but I did find out that uh, I was probably had some methane gas poisoning going on at my house and that's why I was super tired and other things. But So hopefully I figured that one out. Um, there's been a lot of people that have sent me links, check this out or try this, and I have not tried anything new um, or had time to research them. I don't like trying anything without researching them, and I haven't tried anything new in several months. So what the last thing that somebody suggested, I think, was this sulfur soap. And I um, went to like a farmer supply store, and I bought this sulfur soap. And it stinks something awful. I literally opened it and I didn't even open it. It oozed some of the sulfur out of it. Like the liquid's oozing. That's why it's in a bag. And it stinks so bad. And it's kind of gooey. You can see it's kind of wet and oily looking. So I used it once and my family was like, don't. I was visiting them and they're like don't ever use that again it seems really bad i tried it a couple times at my house and it just reeks but i did try it a few times and now i don't even want to smell my hands <laughs> um but i didn't see that it did anything so i rubbed that on my arms and um didn't feel that it was doing anything so um i'm not going to be using it and it stinky so excuse me I tried to live video stream several for about an hour. I tried to figure it out, and I don't know since YouTube has changed their analytics um, and Google's been changing their cap. Uh, what is it called? Anyway, they've changed their tags and things like that. I have my income from YouTube. Not that it was a ton anyway, but. Um, and my blog has cut in half over the last six months and um, they're not I'm not having as many views so I think whatever algorithm they change to is not that great and I hate their new um, I'm really tired I literally kept falling asleep while I was trying to download new encoding software to do a live stream and I couldn't figure it out. I, I couldn't even find the one that I had. YouTube is supposed to be able to notice which one you have and, and link with it. And I was doing it before just fine, but they keep changing their stupid stuff. And I just get used to something and then they change it. And then it says, go back to the classic or go to the new one and go to the beta, which is now their go to and I, I'm so frustrated with YouTube right now. This is part of the reason I haven't done any update videos because every time I go to use it, I can't even, the, the main features that I used to use, I can't even figure out. And it seems like their new software has ads all down the center and then a little bit of this and that. And then you go into the videos and it's like so much information that it's not even useful. I mean, like maybe to a handful of computer geeks it's useful to me I'd rather have a click and use feature and um, I was fine with I mean there was a couple of things that were a little bit annoying that they've changed that I like better but so anyway I'm sorry um, that's a rant and it really doesn't have anything to do with the parasites and I'm just really tired um, I've been traveling today and I've um, driven for a lot of hours and I'm tired but I wanted to do a video so anyway, the sulfur, I wouldn't recommend it. I didn't, I mean, you can try it, but it was 12 bucks or something and it's stinky and it is sticky. And so I was like my bedding 
stunk like it and I stunk like it and I, I didn't feel like I was it was worth I didn't find any benefit from it so that was not something I would use um so it seems like I've been working a lot like when I come home from my dad's I'd work in the yard I had some some flooding sprinkler issues and I also um finished landscaping my backyard and I also um, have been out um, picking fruit. So when I would come home, I would do these things. And then about two days later after being outside, I would have um, a rash. Um, and then I would have, when I sit down, I sleep and I fall asleep. And then when I, um, I would have the burning, lung burning. And I typically don't have the lung burning if I don't kill any off. And so what I'm thinking is going on is every time I go outside and work in the yard and even like, it's usually when I'm like kneeling down pulling weeds or I'm standing in one spot for a really long time. So I think that my yard is just infected. I don't, I mean, I can't prove any of this, but I, that's what I'm thinking is going on because it seems like that's when I'll have the lung burning when I've been outside. So I think that is only when new nematodes come in or you're having, um, like you kill some off and then more hatch. Um, because I was doing okay for a while. Um, but then when I would go outside, I would have this problem. So I think that it's mostly after I've been exposed to a new being outside and having more come. Um, I, oh, I didn't bring it in. I tried boric acid, which is, um, a, a natural, boron type based, um, well, it's just boric acid. Um, it kills, like you use it for ants and things like that to kill them. Um, insecticide, I guess that's the term I'm looking for. I shouldn't do this when I'm so tired, but <laughs> I just, well, I've been wanting to make this for like weeks. Um, and so I tried a little bit of it. Um, I had used it for yeast infection and I actually had really good results with that, but they say it can be toxic and you can build up. And so I, um, I tried a little bit of that in some of the oils that I rub on my skin cause my hands have been super dry lately since I got home. And, um, I also did not feel any massive results using that. So I'm just, I'm just letting you know what I've tried. So that if somebody says, try this, so, um, I also, when I blow my nose all the time, have little pink marks. And if I use Q-tip, I'll get some, cause I can feel them burrowing and bur um, boring in, into my nose sometimes or, um, my ears and even in my eyes, um, several times over the last couple months, I could feel them behind my eye or, um, I've actually felt that burrowing in my eye. Like I was saying, I had like a lightning bolt, um, at the beginning when I have a lot of them and they're burrowing. Sorry. I like even fell asleep sitting at this table three times trying to figure out that live streaming. So I'm just like, Oh my gosh, I look terrible. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> um, so I've had more of that type of, um, feelings and, and oh, like tinges of blood. I'll feel them burrowing and then I'll blow my nose and then there will be like blood. Not a lot, just a little bit. Like if you pick print yourself. So I really feel like they are still burrowing. Um, I've been having a ton more painful pinpricks. Like in my very first videos, um, I talk about, um, like it was mostly when I was asleep, I would feel like a pinprick behind my knee or it felt like, um, somebody was poking me with a hot pin. Um, but if I'm really tired and I've been up a lot and I'm, I haven't slept a lot, like I'll feel it more. And, um, especially like, because I haven't done anything to try and keep them down and I've been working in the yard a lot and things like that. So I've been having a lot more of that pinpricking feeling. So, um, but I did have a really weird, um, experience. So in the middle of that, taking care of my dad or towards the end of that, we had our annual family reunion at a lake that we go to every year. And 
I was wearing these flip-flops that I, I never wear. Like I, I just wear them at the lake, um, once a year. And, um, just cause I can't wear Birkenstocks. I usually wear Birkenstocks, but you can't wear Birkenstocks in the water or around water. The glue separates and the cork gets funny. So, um, I was wearing these flip-flops and where we stay is a little ways away from the water because we don't want, we don't get a site near the water or the lake because we have a lot of little kids and we don't want them drowning. And we, so we get a group site that's kind of a ways a walk from the water. And so, um, I was wearing these flip-flops and my feet were wet dr draining, uh, cooler or something. And as I was walking with these flip-flops, it was making a really high pitched squeak, like because they were the rubber based soles and then my feet were wet. And so it was like squeak, squeak, squeak. And I was also very hot. So I was kind of sweating anyway, because I'd been working on, I don't even remember what I was cleaning something or whatever before I went down to the lake. And that squeaking noise and vibration, all of a sudden as I was walking, plus I was a little hot and moist anyway, as I was walking, I felt a ton of those pinpricks. Like they, they seemed to be like leaving my body um, for this like five minute walk, not even maybe, that, yeah, four minute walk or something. It was weird. It was so weird because I felt like that something in resonating with that squeak squeal was making and, and or the heat was making them leave my body. So I'm wondering if there's a, a temperature because I've shared I don't regulate my temperature very well. It's like I get hot because I have that film and I biofilm and I get really hot and I can't cool down. So I, I, I'm wondering if the, there's a combination of a temperature that they don't like and or the resonance of that squeaking noise. I mean, it would be very hard to re replicate that exact experience again, temperature wise and or heat wise. Um, but it was interesting. So there's just, I'm throwing that out there that maybe there's a resonance and a, a heat combination. And I know you, there's different Rife machines and things like that that send out different vibrations and are supposed to kill them. But I've not, I've tried it several times, different ones and different vibrations. And I haven't had like, and I even bought one of the, like the handheld pro, um, electrical pulse things. And I didn't uh, forgetting the name of what it's called. I've tried beefy units. I've tried a lot of different types of things and I haven't felt like, Oh my gosh, this worked. I feel so good about this <laughs> type of thing. So I just thought that experience was kind of weird. So one of the other things I've been using, um, was, and somebody made a suggestion that I say at the beginning of my video what my illness is and the date so that um, they can know which order because in the playlist they don't come up in order. And <laughs> I'm so sorry. I forgot to do that because I'm half asleep. So I will try and do that in the future. This is just a throw together and I want to get it done. I've had these things sitting out on the counter that that stupid sulfur thing has been sitting out for months. So I'm Sorry that I didn't do that, but um, I'm trying to put the date in the title now so that people can watch them in order. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so these are some things also I was trying. So I found this psoriasis control shampoo um, that has some, um, sorry, it's like glary. I'm trying to not have the light reflect on it. I'm trying to remember what the medical strength is. It's, um, salicylic acid is in it. And so, um, I've been using that, um, and it doesn't lather super well in the hair. So I use this and another shampoo with it. Like I combine the two and, um, because I was having a lot in my hair was, kind of irritating for a while there at the back of the hairline or whatever. And usually when I bleach my hair, um, color it, 
it keeps them away, but then I was having a lot more and I think it was due to the heat and, um, also travel and stress and lack of sleep. So, um, I use this with my other shampoo. It doesn't really matter which other shampoo, just something that will lather it up. It's not a really super lather shampoo. So, um, I got it. I'm pretty sure it was at Walmart. Um, yeah, it would have to have been Walmart that I got that. And then, um, I've been using this shampoo condition. I mean this conditioner and I really, really like the smell of it and I'm not really excited about it doesn't condition really well, but I love the smell of it. So it's a rosemary repel. I also got this at Walmart. It's obviously for kids with head lice, I'm guessing, um, because of the little fairy tale thing at the top and the little princesses at the middle or and prince. <laughs> It's like, let me put this comb through your hair and make you smell like an herb. <laughs> so it's got rosemary, citronella, tea tree, and oils in it. And it's not really super conditioner. It's pretty crappy conditioner, but the smell is really good. And I know, I know they don't like rosemary because that was one of the very first things that I ate, these rosemary crackers that I could feel them moving and I knew I had a parasite. So I know they don't like rosemary. So when I saw this at Walmart, I was like, okay, I'm going to try that because I know they don't like rosemary. So I put this on with a squirt of my regular conditioner that works really well in my hair because you can get your hair can kind of, especially when you have the parasite get like really curly and um, fuzzy. But between the coloring of my hair and using that shampoo and this conditioner. So I use both my regular shampoo and conditioner, but I add these to them. And I have liked that combination. My hair feels like it's a little bit more manageable um, when I use those. So I don't know that it would work for everybody, but I think you might even actually be able to just put a few drops of rosemary, citronella, and tea tree in your normal um conditioner. So that's my next step is to try adding a couple of those drops to my normal conditioner. My normal conditioner, I, this is really sad. I've tried a lot of different types, but I really, really, really like one from the dollar store, our local dollar store. That's a coconut blend one and it's concentrated and I, it works really well, like better than the expensive brands that I have bought over the years. So I told my kids, I'm like, man, try this conditioner. Cause usually dollar store stuff's not that good, but, um, I've been using it for at least a year now and I really, really like it. So just been adding that. So that's my next thing. After this is gone, I'm going to just put a couple of those drops into my own conditioner and see how that works. But I really like the smell out of it. it smells good. It smells like rosemary and I like rosemary. So that's, um, been helping my hair. Now, I don't know if you can tell my hair looks like shinier or, um, more, it just feels like I can run my fingers through it and it feels more normal than it used to. And I know I still have the parasites and I know they're really bad, but that combination seems to keep them away from my scalp more frequently than they were before. So, um, still losing a lot of hair. Um, still very, very dry. I mean, like super dehydrated, but part of that could be, I just did a video, um, you can watch on, um, methane poisoning and dehydration is a symptom of that, but it's also thyroid. And I know I have thyroid problems. You can kind of see I've got like a lump goiter kind of thing going on. But, um, anyway, so another thing I tried, I thought if the psoriasis shampoo is working, maybe a lotion for psoriasis would work on my hands and arms and things. See the little dots that I get. And I, like they started, you know, I, in the video, as I share, I just had a couple and they started on my neck and then now I have them all over my body, those little bumps. But, um, so I tried that on my skin and I didn't notice any huge difference. I will, I'm, I, probably try it again, but I, it was in the middle of traveling back and forth. And so, um, 
but I just want to document everything that I have tried and I am trying because I, I want, I don't want people to have to spend this money on stuff that's not working or didn't work. They can try, you can try anything uh, that I have tried or I haven't tried. I mean, but I just have done a lot of research on a lot of the things that I've tried because I don't like trying things on somebody's word. I want to research it and make sure it's healthy and safe because my kids have symptoms and my family members have symptoms and I don't want to offer them or tell them to try something that may harm them. And so I'm very careful about doing research on everything. Um, my teeth have been much, much, much worse than they were. Um, I, I've shared, like I could feel them going through my roots it feels like they're getting further down. I haven't been doing all of the oils and stuff that I was doing or silver in my eyes or things like that. Um, just traveling and life. I just didn't haul everything back and forth. And I actually hadn't even planned on staying up at my, my dad's house, except it, his surgery went really bad fast. And so I basically, since father's day was up at my dad's for two months. So, um, well, a month and a half. And then I worked on another project on his history for a week and a half. So it was a very, very long extended, not holiday. But, um, so while I've been traveling my teeth, I can feel them much more aggressively in my teeth and I can actually feel, it feels like my teeth are actually shifting because there's so much movement and it will wake me up at night. And when I'm sitting doing nothing. I just, it kind of freaks me out to feel that much movement in my teeth. It makes me worry that I'm going to have those black yellowy teeth that my mother had at the end and some other family members have and my neighbors have had. So I just wanted to share that, that those symptoms are worse. Um, the things that seem to help me are the same things that were helping me before. Leucol's iodine, um, Vitamin, multivitamins, B vitamins, um, the iron supplement that I've shared many times. Um, I started taking and researching D2, vitamin D2. Um, I haven't noticed a huge difference in the D2, D3 um, situation. The main thing is once again, I'm still taking a really good multivitamin, daily multivitamin. So I crush the vitamin and I share that in a lot of videos. Um, and Oh, another weird, weird thing I'm having. So yeah, I've been taking all of those, um, and moringa to moringa powder. It still helps me feel better. That's the one time I feel better is when I take those things. Um, but I've been having, um, more pain, like, uh, when the parasites will crawl, so a lot of times they'll get in one area and I can feel them moving like a lot in that area. So sometimes I'll have one like back at the back and I can feel it going up and down the spine. Um, sometimes I feel like specific ones like in my eye and it will be there for several days moving in my eye. Um, but I haven't been feeling the one like in my head that I, you know, have felt on and off for well, quite a few times, but I have had one in my hip. It's, it wakes me up at night, like around my hip joint. I don't know what's going on. And it's not like, it's not the one that usually hurts. Um, and I can feel it moving. Like I can feel something moving around my hip area. Um, which is weird because normally it's like around the heart. I felt, felt a lot of them there. I felt them on the thyroid on this side. I felt them on the head, both sides, mostly usually on this side in the back. Um, can feel them going up and down the spine, um, feel them in the sinuses oftentimes moving up here. And I can actually feel a pop and change in my sinus pressure when they're doing that. Um, feel them in the lungs if I eat ice or something, I can feel them moving in the chest area. Um, I can feel them in the bladder a lot. It's weird because, um, I've shared that in the bladder, like when they're, they're burrowing in and out of the bladder, it will create like an air bubble, uh, or a little bit of a drippage in my bladder. Um, but I, um, will go a month or two and not have any problems. So I think partly it's what I'm eating. Um, if they, if I'm eating a lot of stuff that keep them down, 
Um, but when I'm traveling, I'm not eating and taking the things that will keep them down because I'm at the mercy of the fast food that we're stopping at or, um, my dad's wife is, she's a sweetheart. I love her like a mother. Um, but she, she can't cook gluten free. And I've got so many weird dietary things now with the stomach leaky gut. I don't eat a lot of, and my gallbladder issues, which makes my eyes yellow. Um, I don't eat like any fats. I don't eat mayo. I don't, um, any kind of fatty. I don't eat a lot of nuts or things like that. So I can't eat that. I don't eat red meat hardly ever. And if I do, I can only eat a little bit. I don't do bacon, any, anything fatty. I can't eat. I can't digest it. And anything, um, I can't do like broccoli anymore. I can't do any beans. They'll just make me bloat. Um, because I think I have so many burrowing in and out of my gut. My, my body just can't. There's so much leaky gut going on. So um, I just told her to not worry about cooking for me. So she would just cook their regular meal, which I mean, obviously normal people have to eat. So I would just go buy my own stuff and like gluten-free granola and granola bars and protein bars and um, gl gluten-free crackers from like Costco or something. <laughs> it's like just whatever I could find. And I did, they don't have a lot of fridge space. So I was trying to find stuff that wouldn't go in the fridge. And so, um, I really didn't eat very much. The thyroid thing. I didn't really eat. She's like, you hardly eat anything. I'm like, I don't know. I eat fruits and vegetables mostly. That's what I eat. Um, but it's really hard if there's no fridge space at somebody's house. You know, like, hey, let me take up half your fridge with my vegetables. So, um, I wasn't eating things that would keep them down. And so, um, might be why things are worse. Um, well, I'm sure it is because when I'm home, I eat very similar kind of a blend, rice, fish, vegetables, and fruit, um, and beets. I've shared this many times on here. So those are the things I normally eat when I'm home. And so I just haven't been home to eat well. So anyway, that's, so there's that. I don't even remember why I started talking about that. <laughs> so it's probably the worst update video ever. It's the, I'm exhausted video. I literally was falling asleep at this table. Just like my neighbors must just think something's wrong with me. I've been sitting there for an hour trying to figure out that stupid YouTube. So I won't be doing any live streaming unless I can figure out their new system. They're just, I'm so frustrated. I, everything was working just fine before I left. And now I can't get live stream to work. I have to figure out a new download, a new software and figure out the encoding and stuff again. So I'm sorry. I can't answer questions. I was hoping because I've had a lot of people write me. I have a question. Well, I'm sorry. I can't. So you can write me, but I haven't checked this in two months either. I was going to say, you can write me on the secret is gratitude blog at gmail.com, but I haven't checked it in two months. So you can write me, but I won't write back. <laughs> so I'm sorry. So hopefully now that I'm back home and my dad seems to be doing better, um, I will be able to catch up, but it is fall and I do have a lot of pruning fruit trees that need pruning and yard work that needs winterizing. And I'm working on my garage and, oh, lots of, and I worked on my dad's history, but that's another video altogether. So, um, anyway, it's good to be home. Um, and I need to get the... <laughs> get that all done and figured out. So, um, hopefully we'll get back on track and I'll get to research some of these things that might actually help somebody. So anyway, I hope you've all been figuring things out while we've been gone and keep sharing things that are working for you. And, um, I'm sorry. I have kind of dropped the ball on this personally th things coming up. I, I can't, I just couldn't do it all. So <laughs> you wouldn't want me to, to share at my dad's. <laughs> so I was running, running ragged up there. Um, so have a wonderful blessed day and thanks for watching. And I'll try and 
post some more um, videos and, and things I've tried. And I thanks for watching.